My name is Jeff Brown. I work for Paws Wildlife Center up in Linwood. Today we're just out a little outside of Issaquah on some King County uh, parkland. I'm about to go do a flying squirrel release. The flying squirrel showed up at this vet clinic just with a sign that said, please help them. Um, only a couple weeks old, uh, couldn't be you know out there by themselves. They needed mom, so we that's what we're set up for. Given their age when they arrived, that required us to feed them, hand syringe feed them four times a day formula, and then continuing care until they hit that, that stage of development that they can be independent, that they can get back in the wild and be okay. Amongst other things I'm learning about flying squirrels, they're nocturnal. Yeah, yeah. Much like the average homeowner, you're using your security camera to see what they're up to at <laughs> night. What do you see? Yeah, so partly why we, we took that video is that we are using this newer um, release box. That's where the Girl Scouts came in. They helped us design it. They built it. It's pretty sweet. It's got three compartments in it with these little holes that they can travel through. These little doors slide open and shut. They specifically really wanted to help us with these types of releases. Probably set up right around in here. We're gonna take them out in the woods, find this great spot to put them, find a tree, put them about 20 feet up in the tree. And then from there, we can just open these little doors and they can come out whenever they want. And they just gives them some shelter, some food for a couple days while they're able to find like some nests that they really like, some foraging areas that they really prefer. It just gives them that little extra, a little bit of insurance there.